disrespectfulness, you know. It's just a disrespect, you know. I feel myself we're bad and, you know, and then I've decided that, you know, we shouldn't give any people more importance. If you are learning any English, just a single example, then, you know, native speakers are indispensable for you. You want to talk with them and you are giving more importance they have. You have to give them the, you know, same importance that you give your friends. And it's nothing to be able to speak for the native speakers. You can also talk, you know, you can also listen to many YouTubers and many people in Instagram and in other social media accounts. And, you know, there are also talks that the native speakers speak in and just giving you, asking you a question and you're answering and want give you some time to, to give your answer back, to reply them. Anyway, so be careful. Although you feel yourself that you have to be respectful and you have to do more things normally you do your friends to this person that you need. If you, even though feeling that way, just press your feeling, you know, don't uh, make them control you. Just see the people that you see superior to you like you and don't give them to disrespect you because when you give the people more importance then they are going to change their position and their attitude and their behavior to you because they are going to feel like that oh god i'm important i am superior to him so i have to you know i shouldn't answer more fast i should you know draw myself a little bit back so i have to behave accordingly something like that so don't do that and other things then also this is true and in my language it's called that the ones who escape is run after if you escape from someone then they run after but if you don't escape and you know want to talk with them then they escape this is one of the rule which is unwritten unwritten rule in this world don't forget it so don't give someone more than their value don't forget it don't do that if you do that then you disrespect yourself and you're gonna fail you are not gonna communicate with them you're gonna also get you know get away your opportunity to communicate with them if you do that because they are they escape i'm a hundred percent sure that they escape uh I, I also wanted to communicate a couple of people that are really, you know, have value on them, but they haven't talked with me. But later, I've seized my interaction. I've given up to try to talk with them. And then suddenly, you know, after a week or after a month, they just, you know, spontaneously find me and talk with me without any reason. You know, so that's the rule. That's the number one rule. And also it's true maybe uh, for the, you know, relationship too. So let me finish my conversation with uh, three words. One of them is sleeve, sleeve. You know, we call this part of, this part of cloth as sleeve. This is sleeve. This is the sleeve. So if I do this, if I do I'm rolling, I'm rolling my sleeve. As you see, I'm rolling my sleeve. This is sleeve, okay? And the second things I'd learned, for example, if something comes to your mind, an idea or something, it's called, it's called an idea struck me. Oh, an idea struck me. Spontaneously, an idea struck me. What do you think about uh, to do this lesson? How do you think that you're going to achieve to perform this lesson? Someone is asking you a question. I don't know. Oh, right now, an idea struck me. So I have something in my mind. An idea struck me. Struck is the second uh, second form, past past tense form of strike, struck, strike, strike, struck, struck. And or you can say instead of an idea struck me, you can say that popped into my mind or head. An idea, an idea popped into my mind. Oh, an idea popped into my mind. An idea popped into my head. An idea popped into my head. Also, you can use this expression too. Thank you for listening to this video. Please don't forget to press on like button, not dislike.
but the like button okay and to subscribe my channel and only there are you know 200 members right now i don't know if it is increase if it will increase or it will decrease anyway i do it uh, for myself but you want to participate you want to go with me in this english english learning journey long journey then you welcome if you don't want to join and you're welcome to okay wait catch you later this is not my idiom i've gotten it from one of the ladies quick catch you later catch you later bye-bye i'm gonna stop